Welcome to the Brian Henry and You Show. This show is life transforming, edifying, challenging, and life giving. Informative. Your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Enjoy today's program. God bless you. Welcome to the Brother Henry and You Show. I am your host, Brother Henry Harris. Thank you so much for watching today. You are in for a treat. We're going to be talking about how does faith work. And today I have my special guest with me, Mary Cleveland. <laughs> Uh, this is not an interview. We're, we're just going to be feeding off each other in the spirit. We're just going to be talking about how does faith work. You know, Mary, faith has been defined in so many ways where people uh, don't even understand what faith is, uh, more or less how faith even works. So I was asking Mary before the show started, you know, what would be a good scripture? And the scripture that she gave actually wasn't scripture I was going to use, and we'll put it on the stream Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now I want you to keep that topic in mind. How does faith work? Um, faith that can be seen is not faith at all. And I'm sure, Mary, you've seen people who have been in that mm -hmm. area where, you know, if I don't see my healing, if I don't see my deliverance, if I don't see my breakthrough, I will not believe, just like Dow and Thomas. So what do you think about that? People who say, you know, I have to see it before I believe it. I mean, is that really true faith? That's not true faith because in <coughs> God's kingdom, it's the opposite. You have to have the faith mm -hmm. in order for it to manifest in the heavenly realm for it to manifest here in the natural realm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, um, you know, there's a scripture in the Bible where Jesus said, uh, you have to believe before you even see it. For some people, that's really impossible. How can I really believe? We just use healing, for example. How can I really believe I'm healed when I still have the, the problems in my life? I, or if I still have the sickness? How can I just simply believe? It all comes back to faith and how does faith work? It also leads to the next question, Mary, I was thinking about that a lot of people struggle with. Is it really faith or is it unbelief? that people deal with. And we talked about that story in Matthew chapter 17, verse 19. Then the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked, why couldn't we cast it out? And Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove from here to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Mary, that's going to make me cut a step right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Now, you got to understand, prior to verse 19, uh, the father had a son who was demonic, of course, and he used to cast himself in the fire and do very unusual things because he was demonic. So, the father was pretty much, you know, disturbed. He was upset. You know, I brought my son to your disciples. They couldn't cast it out. And Jesus said, oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long should I be with you? So, the father brought the son to Jesus, pretty much laid hands on him, and cast the spirit out. And we get up to this part where the disciples pulled Jesus off privately, the Bible says, and asked, how come we couldn't do this? How come we couldn't cast it out? And Jesus pretty much said it was because of your unbelief. So, Mary, you said something earlier I really liked about unbelief. Was the, what was it? Unbelief is the opposite of faith. Yeah. Because the same story, if you'll go to Mark, mm -hmm. the Father, you know, Jesus tells him that there's nothing is impossible with God. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, I believe, but also I have unbelief. Help my unbelief. Mm -hmm. So if we can even ask the Father, or, you know, asking, mm -hmm. you know, Lord, I believe, but I also have some unbelief here. I need mm -hmm. some help with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at, least, at least the man was being real. Right. You know, he told Jesus, hey, I do believe, but I need you to help me. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. There have been challenges in my life where I've told God, Lord, I do believe you can pay this bill. <laughs> I do believe you can uh, heal this situation in my life, but I need you to help me in my unbelief. So if that's you today, just tell the Lord, help me in my unbelief. Now, I know many people may say, 
you know, asking the question, was this an unbelief problem or a faith problem? Many people may say, well, maybe the disciples could have cast it out because they didn't have the power to. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew chapter 10, verse 1 says that Jesus called his disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. So the issue wasn't really their faith. I'm going to say it was unbelief. Like Mary says, the opposite of each other. Sometimes unbelief can block us or hinder us from receiving from God. Will you talk a little bit about that? And I say, and then the other <coughs> word for unbelief could also be worry. Hmm. Because you can worry and worry, you know, I know God, you can do this, but I'm still going to work. We're supposed to give it everything to Him anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm giving the unbelief, giving the worry, giving the problem. But there's still times that we'll go ahead and pick it right back up again. We just need to learn to leave it there. Amen. <laughs> and, not, and remember His promises, mm -hmm. like for healing. By his stripes I am healed. Mm -hmm. You know, they already happened. That's part of salvation. We receive our healing. We receive the riches and glory. You know, we receive everything. Because mm -hmm. it was all finished right there at the cross. Yeah, I like how that verse says, by his stripes we were. We're I look at that word. Words like past tense. Uh -huh. It's already happened. So all we have to do is pretty much just... Like you said earlier about Peter, just step out of the boat, step out in faith. And while it's on my heart, while the Holy Spirit just brought it to me, sometimes, I don't know who this is for, but I'm going to say it. Sometimes faith will tell you to do those things which is impossible or uncomfortable. <laughs> I've, been, uncomfortable. <laughs> I've been in those situations, you know, just like Peter, you know. Is that really you, Lord? He wasn't going to come out of that boat. He wanted no. to make sure that was Jesus. <laughs> Tell him to come. We talked about Abraham. Mm -hmm. You know how God just told him, hey, Abraham, wake up. Go to go to the country. And the Lord didn't even tell him where he was going. He said, get your family together and go. And um, you mentioned some about who was the prophet. You said Elijah. Elijah. I was going to say because he had already prophesied that it wasn't going to rain for a certain period of time. But yet he knew that God was going to sustain him all through that. Because he was there by the brook, mm -hmm. and God, so he had his water, and then God sent the ravens. Well, when that was the brook dried up, then God sent him to the widow woman, you know, with the meal, and it, it never ran out. So not only did God sustain Elijah, he also sustained her and her son, too. Wow. All according <laughs> to his faith. Moving right along. Uh, is it my faith or his faith that produced results? A lot of people feel like, oh, it's, it's my faith that got me saved. It's my faith that got me healed. Very tough question. It is, now I want you to listen to this. It is his faith that's operating through you that produce results. Now, I know a lot of people uh, may say this. What do I do when it feels like I don't have enough faith? Uh, many get discouraged because they feel like they have they have to have a whole lot of faith to be healed or to receive from God. Well, you don't need big faith to do big things. And I actually asked the Lord the other day. I said, Lord, how much faith do I actually need? I know it's your faith in me, but how much? But also, His faith is not only in us, but we have to release that faith mm -hmm. um, as well. And I was telling Sister Mary before the show started uh, that I read that scripture where He says about a mustard seed. And I'm going to be honest with you, I know I'm 28, and um, I never in my whole life have seen a mustard seed. I know that may shock a lot of my viewers. I have seen fried chicken before, <laughs> <laughs> but I have never seen a mustard seed. So, I went to the dollar store the other day, and I pulled out a mustard seed, and you can actually put it on your hand. It's very, very small, and it just dawned on me. So, Lord, you're saying... If I want to be healed, this is all the faith I need. If I want to be saved, this is all the faith I need. And But like I said, it goes back to what we're going to talk about. The religious mindset always, it discourages people because they always feel like, you know, I got all this faith. How come I'm not healed? You know, maybe I don't have enough faith. You want to talk about that? You talk about the light bill and they say they have all this faith. And then even after that, well, maybe I need to build my faith more. Maybe I don't have enough. 
Uh, okay. <coughs> the Holy Spirit is reminding me of some situations I've been in lately. Um, I'll put it this way. No, I do not have a regular job. I allow the Lord to mm -hmm. supply my needs. Mm -hmm. So he's been using my son lately. Well, my son happened to be off work for a few weeks, which we pretty well live paycheck to paycheck, mm -hmm. which means no groceries was going to be coming into the house. Mm -hmm. No. God provided the groceries <laughs> in the house. And everybody's fretting and everything else at the house. I'm going, God's going to provide it. I don't know who he's going to do it through. He usually, with, for me, he usually uses family. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I've just learned to sit back, watch him work. <laughs> That's all you can do. And there's times, you know, you're saying unbelief or stepping out. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the times where you're sitting in service and God tells you to put a certain amount of money in the offering plate? Mm -hmm. And that's all you got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's really faith right there. <laughs> but if you are in, obedient, he will replace that to you plus more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really believe that. <laughs> so it is not your faith. It is his faith that's operating through you. Uh, as we go to a close, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 says, I am crucified with Christ. Christ. This is what Paul says, it's no longer I that live, it's Christ that lives in me, which means it's his faith working and operating through me. The life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith, see there it go, <laughs> in the Son of God, look, in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So, if you want a healing, if you want deliverance, whatever you need today, realize this, your faith alone is powerless, but your faith in Christ is powerful. So if you want to know how faith works, faith works this way. It has nothing to do with you, but it has everything to do with what Jesus did on the cross. And I would like to ask you, go to www.facebook.com, type in the search bar to Brother Henry and you show and like our page. That way you can have access to what um, the show is doing. Um, I'm going to be focusing more on doing more programs. I've been having a lot of people say, Henry, you're a little quiet. <laughs> we want to see more of you. So uh, we will be bringing you different teachings. and different. I'll be coming to you privately sometime. And sometimes uh, I'll have certain guests on here. It won't really be like an interview. It'll be kind of like, like we did today, uh -huh. like a tag team. So I appreciate you for watching. If this video bless you, it only takes, I don't think not even a second to hit the share button. <laughs> hit that share button and share this with your friends because I believe they will be blessed as well. May God bless you. Have a nice week.